Hello friends and welcome back to another VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team based all around Steelix. So I'm very excited about this team for one reason and that is the Persica. Obviously the Steelix I'm very excited about as well, but with that steely spirit, Persica, uh, with the introduction of Sword and Shield was a Pokemon that I looked at and I really wanted to fit into a team somehow and I feel like with Series 6 kind of coming to an end soon and with more Pokemon being viable, in this format because of the ban list it's a perfect time to actually build something around Persica and actually have it be effective in the format and I feel like it can be so we started with a core of Steelix um, I was going to say Mega Steelix there but we don't have Megas anymore um, and then the Dusclops obviously going to be the Trick Room setter there and something that can bulldoze we've seen it before proc the weakness policy on that Steelix and then get it really going and then we've got the option then to switch in the Persica with that Steely Spirit and give it Steel type boosts a 50% boost on top of everything else and make it an absolute monster it's got body press as well to kind of fall back on when we're not uh, maxed um, and then the rest of the team's kind of just there we've made up with a nice solid firewater grass call with the Amoongus it gives us redirection helps with helps us with certain things it could be a bit problematic in the format helps us set that trick room up as well uh, give us a, a sleep th threat with spore and then primarina with the assault vest and then the safety goggles rotom heat so this is the team as always there will be a poker paste down in the description below if you want to try that out or check it out or just see the team and the details of the ev spreads and sets and things like that and then we'll do a rental code as always like we do at the end of the episode so we'll jump in and have a couple of games and hopefully it's a lot of fun i am really pumped about this team i'm really excited about it so hopefully you guys enjoy it hopefully we can get a good couple of games in okay we got our first opponent of the episode alex playing a bravery uh gothitelle urshifu durant primarina and rotom wash so what's going on here i mean you've got the trapping with the gothitelle which makes it a little bit difficult um we do have fake out support on persica that we could utilize do they have Trick Room? Probably on the Gothitelle, so they may go for the Trick Room. They could have Taunt as well, which could be a little bit awkward. Um, hmm. It's going to be best for us to kind of approach this, really. I think the Yershifu is obviously the dark fighting one, uh, which could be a little bit tricky. Um, okay, I think what we'll do is lead... Hmm, I don't want to lead Primarina. Cause, uh, we could lead Primarina, I guess. Just if they lead Gothitelle with Rotom, it becomes very difficult. I think we need to try and prioritize getting our Trick Room up. Uh, we'll go Amoongus and uh, let's go Persica. Yeah. And let's go Steelix in the back with what's our last Pokemon? With Amoongus, maybe? Because um, we can just put most of the stuff to sleep. Yeah, let's go Amoongus. And it gives us a good answer to, to Rotom and Primarina as well. Okay. Now we could leave lead Amoongus uh, and Dusclops here, but the fact that they got fake out on Gothitelle makes it a little bit tricky because they can just fake out Amoongus uh, and get rid of our Rage Powder and um, and then Wicked Blows from there. But we're not actually going to see. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. I don't mind that too much at all. Um... Gothitelle and the Bravery. I was kind of expecting the Urshifu, so the, the Urshifu is definitely lurking in the back, for sure. The nice thing about Persica is that we do have the Trick Room, so we can just go fake out onto the Gothitelle. Go for that Trick Room. <clears throat> that forces Gothitelle. It cannot, it cannot prevent our Trick Room, and it cannot taunt us, so that's a nice thing. And we do have U-Turn, so the next turn... Uh, okay. We do take that, which is interesting. Uh, the bravery dropping its defenses, but we do get the trick room up. Um, mm, I kind of want. I need to be able. Ah, that's what we've got. We've got taunt on our dusclops, so we can stop them reversing the trick room as we go for a U-turn into the Gothitelle, which is perfect. Okay, so this this the taunt was really here mainly for Amoongus. So if we set a trick room up, which we normally can. Um, with a lead like this and uh, then we can always taunt the Amoongus the next turn which allows our kind of trick room mode to perform a little better so when, when we get Steelix set up we, we're not disrupted by what the Amoongus is doing because we can just taunt it um, 
the, the first turn in the trick room if my opponent brings it onto the field. But in situations like this as well, where you, you're looking down at Pokemon that can kind of reverse your trick room, it's really useful in these sort of situations. Um, but it's whether or not you want to go for that or maybe something like Ally Switch or um, something in regard to that. Okay, so we're going to see the Bravery. It is going to max. I imagine it goes for a max Knuckle. Um, okay. It's probably going to go for a Max Knuckle into uh, the Persica, I would imagine. Let's see. So we'll get the Taunt into Gothitelle. At least we know that thing can't protect anymore. Um, and we'll get the U-turn, which should do some nice damage. Yeah. And does the Life Orb actually take us down? Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect, because now if they Max Knuckle, they cannot... Yeah. <laughs> That's ideal. Okay, that's perfect. And they're trying to reverse the trick room, but they can't. Um, and now we can bring Steelix in. And Steelix can do some fat work. Okay, so we can't get rid of the Gothitelle uh, because, I mean, we can. We don't need to, though. Um, I'm going to pull those, and I'm going to go for an Iron Head. Because you don't have a Rock-type attack on Steelix, unfortunately. Um, I really needed to keep the body press there because I think it's so, so useful. Um, Rotom making its way onto the field, which is fine. So the Bulldoze just affecting our Steelix, which is, it doesn't really matter at this point. Like, we kind of prefer it not hitting the, the Bravery because obviously we'd proc the Defiant, which would not be good. But they're going to have to go Max Knuckle, um, and we're boosting our defense the whole time. So we should be in really good shape, I think, going forward. Obviously, the Rotten does cause us a few issues, and that also causes us issues as well. But, I mean, the Bravery's not getting any use out of its max turns, which is interesting. Um, as we'll go for the Steel Spike again the next turn, but we can um, potentially go for... I mean, we could max guard to be really safe and get a Moongus in next to Dusclops, but I don't know how useful that would be. Um... I just don't want Steelix to be burnt, that's the only thing. I uh, will go for a Nightshade into Rotom. Let's see, has it got Will-O-Wisp? That's the question. Probably got Hydro Pump though. And that still will hit us for decent damage. But we've got two turns of our max left, so let's see what we can do. Ally Switch. Okay. I mean, we're not getting any, any use out of our Nightshade because it doesn't affect the Bravery. Uh, we'll get the Steel Spike regardless. And it's still doing all right damage. The thing is, what we want to be doing is getting plus two on our defenses. They're going to max knuckle, I think. Uh, so that so our body presses when we come out of this are going to be hitting super hard. Yeah, there's the max knuckle. Doing literally no damage. Zilch. Okay. So it's probably... The, the Rotom's probably not got Will-O-Wisp. So we can quite safely... Um, say that now. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna chase down the bravery again. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the will and the max steel spike again. They can ally switch all they want. After this, we can start putting body presses out. I uh, will be plus two, and it's not gonna be a great deal my opponent can do to get around that. They can ally switch on that, but then it's just not really gonna help them too much. So bravery switching out. Durant coming in. Okay. Again, Durant coming in. I'm not really... Like, Steelix doesn't really... Can brush Durant off. So easily. We get the Nightshade. Is it Citrus Berry? No Berry. Okay. Steel Spike is going to be... Wow. I mean, that's huge damage. A resist. And Durant's defensively bulky. So, yeah. That's nice. That's really nice damage. Um, Hydro Pump. Okay. Not so good. Not so good. Mention them back to normal. Okay. Now we can't afford to lose Steelix. So we need to hmm. Kind of think we have to potentially. Um how many turns of trick room we got left? We've got no trick room turns left. Are we out of trick room, are we? So we need to trick room. Let me just check that. Are we hundred percent sure we're not on trick room? Yeah, we're not. Okay. So, Trick Room and Protect here. Yeah. 
and we get this trick room up. So there's the Iron Head trying to get the flinch onto Dusclops, but we are plus two, and it's life orb. So it's probably in, it's very close to being in um, Nightshade range now. Okay, so get the trick room up. Perfect. Okay, so I think I just literally go Nightshade into Durant and I go Body Press into Rotom. And then we should be. It's all about whether or not we can take down this Durant, really. Can we take it? Ah, oh, it just misses out. It's so close. This will get the, the Rotom. But it's just like the hustle might come in and save our bacon here, you know? Rock Slide. That's the wrong call. 100% wrong call. Because you would never have taken the Steelix down with that. And then you lose your Durant. Okay. <sighs> okay, we can pick up a victory here. We've got Gothitelle and we've got Bravery. Okay. That's fine. Super fine. Um, Yeah, we can... I think we taunt the Gothitelle. Probably protect this turn just because they might have Fake Out. And I think they probably do. And we don't want to lose Steelix just yet. Because if we lose Steelix and we can't deal with the Bravery, then we are... We're done because all we've got in the back is Amoongus and it does not win against Bravery anytime. Okay, well, there's the ally switch. Alright, well, okay, that's fine. And we'll get the taunt into Bravery. At least we know that can't protect now. And close combat, which is fine. Okay. Now, do we call the ally switch again? I think you're going to ally switch again. I really do. I think you're going to ally switch again. But I just... I hate playing the ally switch game. That's the thing. Now they've shown it. They're going to ally switch again. I'm going to body press into the Gothitelle slot. Come on. Come on, ally switch. No, they haven't went for it. I should have never played the ally switch game. I said this a million times myself. <laughs> okay, we're going to get imprisoned. Which is not ideal. In close combat, yeah, it's gonna take down Steelix. Not great. Okay. Well, we do have Amoongus to come in, so we can put stuff to sleep. There is maybe hope, and we do have the Cobra Berry. Maybe we're relying on Moong Amoongus to do everything. Among us, come on, you can do this. Right. Now, I think we just... Huh. Are they going to ally switch? I don't know. They ally switch here, for sure. I'm pretty sure they do. I mean, we could double into the bravery, just in case they do. And we can spore and nightshade that slot. Yeah, they're, they're going for it. Okay, well, we, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to take down the Gothitelle now. And then we can spore the Bravery. So that's the play. Okay. Then we catch them off. And now we've got the task of a lifetime on. Because... Can we take this Bravery down with uh, little old Amoongus? I don't know if we can. Oh, it's Lumberry. Okay. Of course it is. It's always Lumberry. But we have Cobra Berry. That's all the white. I don't know if Giga Drain... I mean, they have reduced their... Man. Okay, the recoil damage is going to be invaluable here. Right. Well. The dimensions turn back to normal. So, we need to Trick Room. We need to Protect. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. I really don't. I don't think we're going to be able to. Maybe. We're going to have to play this, like, super well. And, like, guess when it's going to wake up. Pretty much. We need a three-turn wake. And if we, if we bank on that, we might be able to do it. And a Brave Bird. So the recall again. We should take this. Yeah. There we go. And now we can... Spore. 
We've got nothing we can do. I mean, we can taunt the bravery. It's not really going to help too much. They probably protect. Yeah, they're protecting. Okay. <sighs> the thing is, what we need to do with the Moongus is get back enough health to take another Brave Bird, but that's never going to happen, is it? Or at least get it down to the point where the recoil's going to be enough to, to actually KO itself. So, like, Gigadrin needs to do enough damage, and I really don't feel like it's going to. Right, there's the Taunt. And then we need the spore, which we've got now. And we've got like three turns of trick room, no, two turns of trick room. So, we just need two turns of sleep after this. So there's one. We need two turns. Um, trick room, two turns. Okay. We've got nothing we can do. I mean, we can nightshade. Okay, and we have to go Giga Drain. See how much this is going to do. Nil pois. Giga Drain. Come on, do a decent chunk. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm getting, like, I'm, I'm actually believing. If we can just get the sleep turns we need, we can do this. Come on. Sleep in, sleep in, sleep in. Okay. Right, we needed to stay asleep this last turn. So this would be... Yeah, we needed to sleep this turn. If we get this turn, we can win this. So we just need this turn for the bravery to sleep. Come on, Amoongus. I think the recall might be enough now for it to go down. It's asleep. Come on. <laughs> okay, now we protect the Amoongus. Now we set up the trick room. And we can actually just do this. Okay, this is ideal. Okay, perfect. Come on. Good game to my opponent. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it every day. Every single day. Okay, that's perfect. Right. Let's move on to our next opponent. Hot Tennis is their handle. Uh, they're playing a team of Kingdra, Politoed, Blastoise, Raichu, Serena, and Volcarona. So it's uh, a heavy rain team uh, with the Politoed Kingdra there. G-Max Blastoise is probably uh, the kind of partnering to that um, and then you got the Raichu support with the lightning rod likely anyway with fake out nuzzle support Serena that's gonna provide um, protection against priority attacks and then Volcarona with redirection I would guess um, so big thing we need to do is get our trick room up um, which just clops can do pretty handily I don't see my opponent anywhere having taunt so we're gonna be we should be able to do that the thing that would scare me a little bit would be Probably Blastoise and Politoed. They maxed and went for that. Um, Steelix is going to have a harder time than usual. Um, and we're probably better off bringing Primarina as our last one rather than Persica. But <laughs> it's annoying because we haven't featured Persica yet and I kind of want to feature Persica. Um, can we just forcefully bring it? I mean, we could... Uh, we need a Moongus. So it's like, it's either we go Primarina or Persica. And we want to win. So sometimes you just got to do this. Okay. I'm sad that we haven't been able to bring the Persica. Because it is a beast. It is a beast. Um, and I would like to be able to use it. I mean, we, we brought it in the last one for sure. But... <clears throat> We kind of want it to feature a bit more, don't we? So. Okay, we've got Blastoise and Volcarona. A lead. It's a little bit awkward. For sure, because... Mm, I think we're pretty safe, though, going for a Trick Room. And maybe just protect Amoongus here. Because then we can just start sporing the next turn. Um... We're going to see what it's about, maybe. Shell Smash. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, 
And then, what are we going to say? Quiver Dance, maybe? Or a... Oh, no, just a Heat Wave. Okay, just to get damage on the Abundus. Um, but Dusclops going to be able to take this pretty comfortably. Yeah. Okay. So, we get the Trick Room up. Now we can put... Like, we want to put the Blastoise to sleep. But the thing is, I feel like we're probably not going to be able to put the Blastoise to sleep. Because we're going to see a Rage Powder come out from the Volcarona, which is going to mean if it's got safety goggles, that makes it very difficult to play around, especially with Amoongus. We're not going to get them the benefit of what Amoongus normally can do and disrupt teams with the Trick Room up. So, hmm. And if there is Rage Powder, which you've got to assume there is, we're probably going to see a Max Hailstorm from the Blastoise. Because it will Max here, 100% such a beast as well it's difficult very difficult to deal with okay so there's a rage powder we just got a halt okay well we're not seeing a blastoise max um we are going to get a nightshade which is good um and has it got the safety goggles oh no of course we ignore rage powder <laughs> i forget i forget because we're a grass type, it doesn't affect us. So that's fine. Okay, that's perfect. Um, Now we're going to get Steelix onto the field. Are, are we? Are we? No, I don't think we are. I think we go... No, I think we're just going to try and deal with this Blastoise. If we can. And we're going to Giga Drain. <clears throat> and Nightshade the Blastoise. Because it's such a big threat. Like, we can't really deal with the Blastoise with Steelix as well as we kind of want... Um. Okay, now it's in Nightshade range, so that's perfect. Heat wave coming out, which is fine. So this turn, what we'll do is we'll Nightshade the Blastoise. And we'll Spall the Volcarona. And then in the following turn is where we can get Steelix in and Bulldoze. Yeah. Uh, so Nightshade and Spall. And this is where we find out it's got the um, the safety goggles. And then we can't put it to sleep. Okay. So there's Blastoise down, which is handy. And the Spore, no safety goggles. Okay. May have Lum, but we'll see. I don't think it does. Yeah. I only say safety goggles, and I always presume it's safety goggles back in the day in like earlier formats I used to play uh, when Volcarona was played a lot more you safety goggles would be a lot more uh, the overused item on that Pokemon um, again I feel like we're probably better off just chipping away and putting the Kingdra to sleep now once everything's to sleep we kind of got to keep among us on the field to get our trick room set up again that's the only thing okay the Kingdra are gonna protect we just got to hope that the uh, the Volcarona doesn't wake up. Okay, so there's a spawn to the protect. Volcarona stays asleep. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up the knockout on Volcarona. The only thing. Um, and that, yeah, so we need to... Uh, Alright, we need to Trick Room now and we need to Rage Powder. Because Kingdra's going to max... Oh, it's not. That's interesting. I thought it would max here. And get rid of the... Um... Okay, there's a hurricane. That's risky, you see. You see, I think you just... You need to... Um... You needed to max there. Now Mungus is going to stick around for a little bit longer. But we get our trick room up, which is perfect. Okay. Um... I think the Kingdra probably protects here. Which makes me want to bring Steelix in. And bulldoze while we got the opportunity to. And we just set a trick room up. We might take a heat wave for our troubles. Well, we probably will. Uh, but I think the Kingdra protects. If it doesn't, it's likely to go. Wow, it doesn't protect. Huh. Not going to go muddy water, is it? Hopefully not. I'm hoping it goes hurricane like it has done the previous turn. We're going to see a heat wave from the Volcarona, I imagine. 
That'll mean Dusclops goes down, and then we can get Amoongus back onto the field. Oh my god, that heat wave took our Steelix down. Okay, that's not good. That's quite possibly the worst case scenario here. Um, Alright, well, Primarina is what we need. And Amoongus can come in. We're not maxing just yet. We can put the King of to sleep and just Hyper Voice. And with Primarina and Assault Vest, I mean, if they've got Rain is like the Politoed in the back, which you would imagine they have got with the, the Kingdra, we're in a decent spot, regardless of what, what happens now. It's a bit sad that the Steelix got taken down. It was a bit of a risky turn, to be honest. Like, I'm kind of playing off the fact of what my opponent did the last turn of Trick Room, where, you know, they just brought the Kingdra in, um, and they want to just protect all the, the Trick Room turns out. They don't want to get put to sleep. So I'm thinking... Well, if you're kind of playing the same sort of game as you were before, you're playing kind of defensively, you're going to you're gonna protect here. Um, but didn't expect the Heat Wave to take us down. That was a big surprise. Okay, Politoed, that's perfect. And I think we just win with Primarina now, if I'm completely honest. Uh, Kings are going to protect, that's fine. Because I mean the next turn we just spoil the Politoed, we just go for Max Starfall into the Kingdra and we kind of win. Because the Volcarona, there's no way it can deal with Primarina in the rain. Okay, let's go for that and let's go for the spoil into the Politoed. The other option is obviously going for... Oh no, 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 no. we spoil with, with uh, Among Us before we get the, uh, the, the terrain up, so we're all good. Um, the other option is going after the Kingdra here, putting that to sleep. But it's not really a big threat. I mean, it's a threat to Amoongus, but I mean, at this point, I feel like Primarina can probably win this game itself. The only issue would be the Politoed with Perish Song, but we're going to be putting it to sleep now, so it will give us a little bit of room um, <clears throat> to play around that. And the Volcarona hasn't revealed Protect, so if we can force that back onto the field, then we can get rid of it pretty easily in one turn, so... Perish Song isn't too much of an issue. Um, because by the time the Perish Song comes into effect, the Trick Room should have ended, will be the slowest things on the field. So we'll technically win if the Politoed's still kicking around at that point. And that's a worst case scenario, I feel. So the Starfall should take the, the Kingdra down. Unless we see it max here, and it may be able to take it. Yeah. And then it will be able to get rid of our Amoongus. So it probably is going to be able to take the Starfall, I'd imagine. Oh, it actually max guards, but it fails because it's just protected. So that's a, such a waste of a turn. And we're getting that free Starfall into it. And now, yeah, that locks the game up for us. And whether or not my opponent thought, okay, that just takes it down and clean. I didn't realize. I thought we might need the life orb, but no. Kingdra is not as strong as what I thought. <laughs> um, yeah, now now we've just won this because Politoed can't beat Primarina or Amoongus by itself, really. And Volcarona coming in. And like we said before, like Volcarona hasn't revealed Protect once, so I don't think it's it's got Protect. We could be wrong, and it could have just been playing quite boldly in the earlier turns, um, but I think that's going to be it. So just go for the Giga Drain. Sad that we didn't get Steelix going in this game, but I guess the other elements of the team, it's nice to kind of show those off. We got the Steelix going in the, the, the game earlier and it did a bunch of work. So, um, we played some tricky stuff as well, like ally switch stuff and things that we kind of like, more more awkward things. And we've got through them kind of pretty well. So you can't really complain too much. The team's done decently. And I think it's got plenty of options uh, I would have just liked to have seen a bit more of the Persica, um, but I'll have to leave that to you guys. Uh, take the team away and try it out for yourselves. And uh, if you've got any cool Persica stories, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear all about them. That mentions turn back to normal finally, and we've got one more turn of our max. We can 
go for an overgrowth and we'll go for a giga drain and that will be enough to get rid of the polytod and there's the battle cancelled so there we go two wins two different mods of the team i'm happy hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one and um we'll jump straight over and get that rental code for you here is the rental code for the team um, and like I say, friends, I hope you enjoy it. Hope you have uh, a lot of fun with the team. I think it's got a lot of uh, a lot of potential, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun playing it on the ladder. So uh, if you do take it away and have a go with it, definitely let me know. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. As always, if you have, please remember to drop a quick like on the video. It really does help the channel out. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you're not subscribed and you enjoy this sort of content and other Pokemon content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell and you'll get all the notifs with when we upload. So there is the team. Have fun with it. And uh, that wraps us up for today. So take care of yourselves, friends. Have a great day, uh, whatever you're up to. And I'll catch you all again for another episode very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.